Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our August Patch Tuesday updates rolling out for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And the Patch Tuesday updates roll out on the second Tuesday of every month and will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your system as they are mandatory compulsory updates unless you pause the update for a couple of days. Now for Windows 10 this month, we get KB5063709. And the updates rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 12th of August. Now, first of all, the security update will include fixes and improvements that were part of this update, KB5062649, which was the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out late last month on the 22nd, 23rd of July, depending on your region. So if you didn't install this update, those improvements now are bundled in with this Patch Tuesday update. Now, I posted a whole video on 5062649, which I'll leave linked down below and in the end screen. But just a quick overview for the purpose of this video. Now, first of all, the update resolves an issue impacting the Windows 10 Extended Security Updates ESU Enrollment Wizard. And basically what it fixed was some users were experiencing a problem when clicking Enroll Now. And while we are talking about the wizard, it will be a link on this page here to the right hand side when you do get the wizard. Now I haven't received it yet and if you haven't received it like me, there's no problem, there's no issue. It will eventually get to us who haven't received the wizard yet. So it seems that Microsoft is pushing that new wizard to enroll for the ESU program out using a controlled phased approach. But you'll see it here as a link to the right hand side on the Windows Update page when you do receive the wizard. So there was a bug that was affecting the enrollment wizard that's been patched. The update also added a secure boot improvement. It addresses an issue causing devices to experience stability issues. So that's a bit of a performance uh, boost and fix. And it fixes the emoji panel where if you use Windows key and stop opening up the emoji panel, the search feature was not working. And that was an official known issue. And 5062649 fixed that known issue regarding not being able to search in the emoji panel. So I did post a whole video on that, but that's just a quick recap. And there was a couple of extra under the hood bug fixes that did roll out with that update. So check the video out if you'd like some more information. Now over and above that, the update 5063709 will also include security improvements for Windows 10 22H2. And just a quick overview as to what's going on in that department. Now, across all the Microsoft products and services for Patch Tuesday, there were 107 flaws addressed in total. That's not for Windows 10, that's across the board. And one of those was a zero day vulnerability. There were 13 critical vulnerabilities that were patched, which is your highest rated vulnerability, none of which are remote code execution vulnerabilities. Three are information disclosure and one is elevation of privilege. And then the zero day is listed as CVE 20255377 Windows Kerberos elevation of privilege vulnerability where Microsoft fixed their flaw in Windows Kerberos where Microsoft fixes a flaw in Windows Kerberos that allows an authenticated attacker to gain domain administrator privileges. So just remember 107 security fixes across all the Microsoft products and services. And obviously that will include all the security fixes for Windows 10 with that latest update. Now, because this is a mandatory compulsory update, just a quick look at the About Windows menu to get the latest build upgrade. Let's head over to Winver. And for Windows 10 22H2, after this latest update has been applied, OS build is sitting on 19045.6216. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.